Hi everyone, and welcome to another tutorial in the Unity 3D Scripting API series. And we're still talking about the Mono Behavior class and its event methods. So we are going to briefly go over the onDisable event method. So the onDisable event method is called whenever the script component is disabled. And if you remember, scripts are components that can be attached to a game object by either dragging and dropping them on the game object in the scene view or by dragging and dropping them in the inspector window. Okay, so the onDisable event method is also called when a game object is destroyed. So when you quit your game, the scripts which are also objects are destroyed and this is going to trigger the onDisable event method. So let's have a look at this code here and see what we mean. Now, I've already attached the cube controller script to my game object. And let's have a look at the cube controller script. So not much is going on. I'm going to log start event when, on the first frame of the game. And this is inside the start event method. And then I'm going to log the string on disable event uh, when you know my script component is disabled or when I quit the game. And this is inside the on disable event method. Okay, so let's try this out. So I'm going to click on play here and let's see what happens. So you see that the string start event has been logged once, right? Because the start event method is called on the first frame of a game. Now let me go ahead and click on play again to stop the game. And now you can see that the on disable event method was called, which is why we're seeing this on disable event log to this uh, console right so we are seeing this logged to the console when the on disable event method is called okay and this is because you know when you quit your game the scripts which are you know game objects components they're going to be destroyed and then this is going to trigger the on disable event method okay now let me clear this and let's press play again okay so i'm going to click on play and you see that start event has been logged and this is you know from inside of the start event method so that's being logged now let me go ahead and disable the cube controller script so i'm going to disable this script component okay and you see that the on disable event method was called which is why we're seeing the on disable event Right, we're seeing this string logged because the on disable event method was called. Okay, let me in enable the cube controller script again. Now, let me disable it once again. And you see that the on disable event method was called once more. So I'm going to enable it, disable it again, and you see that it was called once more. So I'm going to enable it. Okay, now. I'm going to stop my game and you see that the on disable event method was called once more when the script is destroyed. So that's all for this tutorial. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you think this was useful.